Dr. Acosta asked the president questions at the news conference this afternoon. Jim joins us now. So take us through what's going on. Yeah, I, I went back to the White House actually to do a, a live shot for your program uh, just before 8 o'clock. And when I arrived at the gate, the Secret Service came out and informed me uh, that my press credentials uh, were being, uh, I guess, revoked temporarily, suspended, and uh, the Secret Service officer came over to me and asked me to uh, hand over my credential. And I did. And I told him, I said, listen, I know you're a professional, you're just doing your job, uh, and uh, thanks for your service. And handed him my a credential I've had for five years. Um, I want to read a reaction from a few of your colleagues covering uh, the White House. Jeff Mason uh, from Reuters just tweeted, I was seated next to Acosta at today's press conference and did not witness him placing his hands, that's in quotes, on the young intern, as the White House alleges. He held onto the microphone as she reached for him. Peter Baker from the New York Times tweeted, false predicate to punish a reporter. This is what the president wants. If he really thought at Acosta was unfair, then why did he call on him? Because he wants the confrontation. And Maggie Haberman tweeting, Acosta, who the White House is alleging, quote, placed his hands on the young intern, said, quote, pardon me, ma'am, as he tried to ask his question. Um, I also want to read a statement uh, that, that CNN's just released. The statement reads, the White House announced tonight that it has revoked the press pass of CNN chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta. It was done in retaliation for his challenging questions at today's press conference. In an explanation, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders lied. She provided fraudulent accusations and cited an incident that never happened. This unprecedented decision is a threat to our democracy and the country deserves better. Jim Acosta has our full support. Anything else you want to add? Well, I was, you know, I was just trying to ask a, a question of the president at this press conference, and it was obviously a question they didn't like. It was about his uh, racist ad on on the caravan that they were running before the midterms. Uh, he and I were going back and forth there, and as you can see in this video, uh, this intern came up to me. I, they're, they're describing her as an intern. I don't really know who she is, and attempted to take the microphone away from me. Uh, all I can say at that point is that I was trying to hang on to the microphone so I could continue to ask the president questions. Uh, obviously, I, you know, I didn't uh, put my hands on her or touch her, as they're alleging, and it's just unfortunate that the, the White House is saying this. Uh, you know, we all try to be professionals over there, and I think I handled myself professionally, and I appreciate all the comments from my colleagues. I do think, Anderson, that th this is a test uh, for all of us. I, I, I do think they're trying to, to shut us down to some extent uh, inside the White House press corps. And, and to some extent, I think they're trying to send a message to our colleagues. And you had no advance warning of this. This was simply when you got to the White House to, to go do a live shot. You were just informed by Secret Service. Yeah, I, I saw the, the statement on my phone from Sarah Sanders uh, that my uh, press credentials were being revoked. I thought, well, maybe I'll, I'll get inside the White House for one more live shot on your show, and at that point, uh, I was simply blocked from entering the uh, e entering the facility. As a matter of fact, there was an officer who stood in front of the doorway uh, to the security booth that I've gone through every day for the last, or every working day that I come to the White House for the last five years. So it was a pretty surreal experience. I mean, I never thought in this country that I, I wouldn't be able to go and cover the President of the United States uh, simply because I was trying to ask a question. Well, uh, Jim Acosta, um, we'll, we'll stay on and we'll see what happens. Thanks Thank very you. much. I appreciate Thank you. it.